Right, hi everyone and welcome to all my 78s and it's an unboxing. Yes, it came today um, all the way from eBay in the UK, somewhere in the UK. I'm in the UK so they didn't come too far but these have a habit of breaking in the post. And But it's already I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, yeah, it looks, it looks as if it might be okay. It looks like somebody might have boxed these up okay the box is a good size so we need to see what's in there now there were uh, i can't remember now i think it was six six for the price of 12 pounds and that included postage which is really good price but what attracted to me to this little bundle was that there was a frank tromboa 78 in there and i like to collect frank tromboa now i must must apologize for any noises you hear i am in a temporary area i'm in my shed and I'm, in, I'm in my garage should i say until my new shed and my new gramophone corner is built then i will be able to do more videos and more exciting stuff i hope to um to well amuse myself and amuse maybe a few people anyway it's an unboxing this let's get on with it right so uh i say trying to uh, ignore the noise coming from outside uh we'll open this box in anticipation hopefully that all the 78s are in good condition now it, it does come from somebody who does 78s a lot so i am quite confident that this actually is going to be okay and there's going to be no broken records within this uh, uh parcel because uh that really annoys me when people uh, post 78s as if they're vinyl, you know. Uh, but as we know, they are very brittle and they break. Oh, I hate this stuff. Do you know I hate this stuff? <sighs> Anybody want a um, whatever it is? <laughs> I hate this stuff. Well, that's, that's, but let's get rid of it. Uh, we need to get rid of it. How are we going to get rid of it? Right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I've got rid of all that, that uh, polystyrene stuff. I really don't like it. Here we have the records for 78. Uh, and they look as if they've been too badly been put together. Um, not the perfect box, but uh, anyway. Oh, a little message from the seller with compliments. Thank you for purchasing. If you're not satisfied with it, please contact me via eBay mutually agreed resolution rather than leaving negative feedback well of course we don't like to leave negative feedback anyway let's go for the first one and it looks like it's in one piece um buster bailey and his rhythm busters afternoon in africa and dizzy dubanti i think that's what it says obviously these records are from a uh, an, an album or a collection uh, this was number 70 no not, number 24 uh, of the rhythm and blues style series so yeah so that's number one number two on the Decca label that was on the parlophone label is the big noise from Win Winetta Winetta I'm very bad at pronouncing things so you'll have to excuse me on this one uh, honky tonk train blues uh, and this is Bob Crosby and his orchestra. And that's in the Decca. And this is coming in the Decca uh, sleeve as well, which is always a bonus, I think, when you get a, um, the correct sleeve. Now, I don't know if it's the correct sleeve, the correct year, but it's uh, definitely nice anyway. Now, plain sleeve, another Decca. And this is, oh, Mish. Is it Mike? Mick Foxtrot by Ray Ventura Air says Collegiers. Was that French? The Charm School. Well, you know, it's got the tax, a tax stamp on it as well. Um, so yeah, in one piece. That is the main thing. Uh, now I'll try to get it back in its, uh, I'll put it back later. Let's get moving, let's get moving. Uh, Brunswick label, and this is the Riverboat Shuffle and no lovers allowed this is the new orleans rhythm kings 1935 it says on there but again this is 21 years of swing music album two from it's from an album and this is record number six still it's a 78 and that's uh 
you know this is the sort of jazz and music we get here i am hope i am looking at getting some uh buying some from america well, it's going to cost me a bit in postage but uh i'm looking at it as a one-off buying a collection but it's going to cost me a bit anyway we'll talk about that in another vlog this is a Brunswick, 100 years from today, uh, Jack Teagarden and his orchestra, and Dark Eyes, Jack Teagarden and his orchestra, and the Brunswick label, and it looks, again, these are looking in nice condition as well. Anyway, hopefully, go back to, the, this is the last one, the last one, and, and this is the, the Frankie Tromboa Orchestra, way down yonder in New Orleans and I'm coming Virginia and that's on the parley phone with a tax stamp and yeah I'm happy with that for £12 and that was the price of the postage as well as we know that these things cost money to post I'm happy with that right well I'm gonna say that's a result and uh, tell me what you think to the records that I bought 12 pounds this cost me i'll put the price up in dollars now and do you know i i, I don't know i just i think i think I'm, i fell in right there i think i did anyway i'm happy i got there anyway uh there is there is there is something that's over there hidden at the moment on another uh vlog i'll do i will be playing some of these records me frank trumboa one most definitely and a future point, I am going through a crisis at the moment, not crisis at the moment, I'm going through a reorganisation at the moment, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but this, uh, if you have a look around, this is my garage, and uh, not my shed. My, sh my, my shed wasn't good enough for doing uh, 78, so I've got a new shed coming, being built, specifically tailor-fitted, everything, going to have a gramophone corner with some gramophone bits. A new gramophone player will be coming at some point this year and I should be doing more vlogs. Thank you for watching this. Thank you very much for supporting me. If you first time here, don't forget to subscribe, click the little bell and, um, and like, and say something in the comments because I'm always interested to learn. I'm not someone who knows a lot. I'm still learning. I'm a very, very, very newbie, but I'm getting there. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon, hopefully. Maybe still in the garage, but I will be back. Bye for now. Cheers.